we now move on to Ireland and Kevin Barry, City of Bohan. Kevin, congratulations. Um, so your novel is set in the future. It is. When you started writing this book, did you ever suspect in your own future you might one day be picking up an award in Brussels? Well, the city of Bohan is an imagined city of the future in Ireland, and I imagined for it a, a strange and wondrous and surreal kind of future, but I couldn't have anticipated anything quite as wondrous or surreal as accepting this award here tonight. <laughs> Is there anyone else you'd like to say thank you to tonight? I would like to thank the European Union for the recognition and just as importantly for the money. Um, <laughs> thanks to Liz Carty and everybody on the Irish jury and thanks to Laura and all the organisers and, and publishers, agents, all those wonderful people. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much, you. Kevin. It's set 40 years in the future, this novel. Is it um, representative of your vision for how you see uh, the future, what lies ahead of us? Well, I think that all novels about the future are in a sense a projection on, on the present moment. So, so, so yeah, but I also think it kind of could be a kind of a parallel universe version of an Irish city, if you like, in the middle of the 2050s, a small and deranged Irish city somewhere on the western seaboard of Ireland. Well, people have said that it looks like a very troublesome, very dangerous, very scary place, but I would love to go out to the city of Bohan. It looks like great fun to me, if you're watching over your shoulder, if you're being quite careful, I think. Um, it, it, there is an element of, 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 of warning, though, yes. Yeah, I, I did grow up in an actual deranged little Irish city called Limerick and, and spent many years in another Irish city called Cork. So the language in, in, in City of Bohan is a projection on the actual language of, of those Irish cities. And it, and it comes from, very much it comes from Irish speech, the way we use and abuse the English language so strangely and so wonderfully in Ireland. And it comes directly, I think, as an oral influence. It comes out of, out of the way Irish people speak and what we say and what we hide beneath our talk. In that sense, do you think it's a very Irish novel? Do you think you could have written this kind of book if you were English or French, for example? Absolutely not. No, I, I think it comes from all the strange underlays and tensions there are in the English language as spoken in, in, in small and, and twisted little Irish cities, you know. And that's a really interesting resource to have as a writer, to have, have the language with those strange, other, another older language beneath and strange, strange, strange tensions at play within it. You also write for the New Yorker magazine, uh, short stories. How has the transition from writing short stories to a novel, how did you find that change? They're, they're so different. They're very different. In some ways, the short story seems almost closer to painting. It's a very controlled, very tight space you're working in. The novel is more expansive and can be looser and can be shapeless in the way that life itself is loose and, 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 and shapeless. So in a way, when you're writing a novel, you, have more, you, you can breathe a little more and, and you can let it go wrong and pull it back. You, you get away with very little in a short story. How do you think this win might help you or change you or influence your, your writing? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm keen on readers. I, anything that helps to, to, to spread the word from the west of Ireland in, uh, in and about the continent is a great thing. So it's really interesting for me, especially that there are, are translation in, uh, incentives with the prize. And I think that's really, really useful for the work. There's so much wonderful work in translation now and it's humbling to see sometimes the stuff translated into English from writers you've never heard about and should have heard about. So it's, it's, it's a really interesting time, I think, in translation in that whole area and what's, what's the whole world of, of literature that's been opened up to us.